Hello and welcome. Thank you for tuning in to our video. Today, we'll be teaching you different ways to say no in English. Saying no is an important part of improving your language skills and feeling more confident in everyday communication. By watching this video, you'll learn 20 different ways to say no and discover how to use them in real life situations. So let's get started. No, Emily and David had been planning to go hiking together on Saturday, but David had to cancel last minute due to a family emergency. Emily understood and simply replied, no problem. David, family comes first. I'm sorry, but Emily asked David if he could help her move furniture into her new apartment on Sunday. But David had already promised to help his brother with a DIY project. I'm sorry, Emily, but I'm committed to helping my brother. Maybe another day, he apologized. Unfortunately, I can't. When Emily invited David to join her for a cooking class on Friday evening, he regretfully declined. Unfortunately, I can't make it, Emily. I have a work event that I can't miss, he explained. I'd love to, but David invited Emily to join him for a weekend camping trip, but Emily had to decline. I'd love to, David, but I have prior commitments with my family, she said apologetically. How about Emily suggested going to a concert with David on Saturday night, but David had already made plans to attend a sports game with his friends. How about we go to the concert next weekend instead, he proposed. Maybe another time. David invited Emily to attend a networking event with him on Thursday, but Emily had to decline due to a prior engagement. Thanks for the invite, David. Maybe another time, she replied. Not right now, thanks. Emily asked David if he wanted to grab dinner after work, but David declined, saying, not right now. Thanks. I'm trying to stick to my budget this month. That doesn't work for me. David suggested going for a run together on Sunday morning. But Emily explained, that doesn't work for me, David. I have a yoga class scheduled. I'm afraid I can't. Emily invited David to join her for a movie night on Friday, but David had to decline. I'm afraid I can't make it, Emily. I already have plans with my roommates, he said regretfully. I'm not able to do that. David asked Emily if she could cover his shift at work on Saturday, but Emily replied, I'm not able to do that, David. I already have plans with my family. It's not possible for me. Emily asked David if he could help her paint her apartment over the weekend. But David explained, it's not possible for me, Emily. I'm going out of town to visit my parents. I have other plans. When David invited Emily to join him for a movie marathon on Sunday, Emily replied, I have other plans. But thanks for asking. I'm not interested, thank you. David suggested trying a new restaurant for dinner, but Emily politely declined, saying, I'm not interested, thank you. I prefer sticking to my favorite spot. I'll pass, but thanks for asking. Emily invited David to join her for a pottery class, but David decided to pass. I'll pass, but thanks for asking. Pottery isn't really my thing, he said with a smile. I'll have to decline this time. David asked Emily if she wanted to go rock climbing with him on Saturday. 
But Emily replied, I'll have to decline. This time, David, I have a doctor's appointment. I have to refuse, I'm sorry. Emily invited David to attend a book club meeting with her on Sunday. But David had to refuse. I have to refuse, I'm sorry. I have a deadline to meet for work, he explained. That's not something I can do. David asked Emily if she could lend him some money, but Emily replied, That's not something I can do, David. I'm on a tight budget right now. I'm not available at the moment. Emily invited David to join her for a cycling trip on Saturday, but David explained, I'm not available at the moment, Emily. I have a family gathering to attend. I'm going to have to say no. David invited Emily to go to a music festival with him, but Emily had to decline. I'm going to have to say no. David, I'm not really into crowds, she said apologetically. Maybe another day. Emily suggested going for a hike with David on Sunday, but David had to decline. Thanks for the invite, Emily. Maybe another day, he replied, already looking forward to their next adventure together. And there you have it. You've learned different ways to say no in English. Now you can confidently use these expressions in your daily life and enhance your communication skills. Remember, language learning is strengthened through repetition. So don't hesitate to watch this video again from start to finish. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and be sure to turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest videos. Until next time, video again from start to finish.